Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and we're going to try to solve this beast of a problem. This one is really challenging, um, so let's walk through it. First I'm going to kind of use my given here, NL, segment NL perpendicular to segment NP, so that creates a right angle here. Uh, we've got these parallel lines, so I'm going to go ahead and mark those up on the figure. Um, angle 1 is equal to angle 2, so I'm actually going to call those A. I'm just going to call use the variable A whoops, for each of those. So they're both the same, so they're both A. Um, I'm actually going to ignore 5 and 6, believe it or not, because it turns out that that information is not necessary to solve the problem. There's more than one way to solve this one, but the way I'm going to show you doesn't involve that. Measure of angle 7 is 16 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and put that 16 in there. And we're trying to find the numerical value of angle 4, so I'm going to call that my x. And so now I want to try to find relationships between um, x and some of the angles involving a. Um, the real key to this problem is it cannot be solved without adding something to the figure. And this is a technique that we use in geometry sometimes, and it needs to be something reasonable. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this TO parallel line, and I'm just going to extend it a little bit further, which is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Um, and if you want to pause there, if you think that's enough to get you to a place where you can solve it, and then come back, try that. If not, keep watching. So now I see I've got vertical angles, so angle 7 in this one, um, this angle right over here. So that's also 16 degrees. So now what I, what I notice is one relationship in particular, which is these two parallel lines cut by that transversal, angle A, and these two combined are alternate interior angles formed by parallel lines, which means they're equal. So A must be equal to x plus 16. All right, so if I can find another relationship between A and x, I'll have a system of equations that I can solve. Uh, so I'm going to look for that. And what I see is, let me get rid of that and that just to make some room all three of these angles make 180. So A plus A plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180. Then I also notice that the measure of angle 3 is in this triangle here. It's in this triangle. And so I'm going to off to the side, the measure of angle 3 plus x plus 90 is equal to 180, because those are the three angles in the triangle. So the measure of angle 3 plus x is equal to 90, which means the measure of angle 3, if I subtract the x from both sides, is equal to 90 minus x. So I can take that 90 minus x substitute it in for the angle 3, and this equation now becomes a plus a plus 90 minus x equals 180. If I simplify that second equation a little bit, I've got 2a minus x equals 90. I just subtracted the 90 from both sides there and combined the a's. Now I've got this equation and this equation that we can solve. I'm just going to use um, a substitution. So I'm just going to put that x plus 16 in place of the a and substitute that x plus 16 in for a. And now we're almost home free. 2x plus 32 distributing the 2. Combine the x's together, Let's move that up a little bit, and then subtract the 32, and we get that x is 58 degrees. Whew. There you go. Uh, and again, there are other ways to solve this, so if you found a different approach, or maybe if 
me adding that line there gave you some ideas. I encourage you to try some different ones, but um, that one's a beast. So if you made any progress at all, good for you. If not, nothing to feel bad about. This is a really, really tough problem. So thanks for watching.